Hey guys, so I'm officially one day post-op from my tummy tuck. I'm walking around with my little neck pillow to hold as a compression. I'm here with my sister Heaven and my boyfriend Ethan, my two number one supporters. We are walking into Dr. Carindian's office right now. We're gonna just do a little post-op visit. He's gonna check up on my drains and my special garments and we're just gonna go over any last minute details to do with my recovery. We just but, stay eating in the background. Yeah, they just, they keep on snacking. Snack life. Um, and I'm lucky that I actually still have a appetite even after my surgery. So everything's been going pretty good and keeping up on my pain meds, trying to stay hydrated. Gonna be drinking some of this coconut water here in a second. So yeah, just wanted to give you guys a quick little update. Once I release this, that's where it's going to really release more pressure. So you might start getting some patients get it, some don't. How do you feel? Yeah, your face got redder. Sorry, it's just flushing. Yeah. Your feet can help you push yourself back. Okay? Yeah. All right. Okay. Good. How you feel? Good? Okay. Okay. So once I remove this. Wow. Wow. What? It's so flat. Really? Look at the curve. Like stomach on flat flats. Holy cow. How did you do And my sister has a song for us. When the stomach on flat flat and the ass on what's that? Snake <laughs> face. We keep it trappy out here in Beverly Hills. <laughs> One day post op, I just had my tummy tuck yesterday and I'm here getting my garment undone so I'm seeing my stomach for the first time today. That is crazy. Is it looking flat? The curves are unreal. Incision looks awesome. And I've only had to empty my drains twice since I've belly button looks so good too. Does it? It already looks like a belly button. Good. So look at the incision. Thoughts? Get a close up on the incision. It looks so good. And maybe how far around it wraps. Like that closure is redonkulous. Yes. So touching this, it definitely feels numb. I don't feel it. You don't feel oh, wow. that at all? Mm-mm. Wow. It's still numb, but I hear that that's really common. It's like the numbing will stay like this for a while. So I'm officially nerves. on the road to recovery and I am in less pain than I anticipated. And I'm walking as long as my pain meds are like not wearing off. I'm walking almost upright, but I'm not trying to push it because I don't want to put any like, extra pressure on my um, stitches. So I'm just taking it really easy, but I am very, very excited to report to you guys that I'm having a very smooth recovery so far. So yeah. I think it's really your first visit. Okay, perfect. So we usually do a post-op visit the day after surgery, and then when am I going to be um, probably seeing you again? Next week. Next I want to see you once a week. Okay. And as you're keeping track of the drain output, yep. see what your drain is doing, okay. and that tells me when it's time to remove your drain. Perfect, okay. Okay, but your Flab is healthy, mm -hmm. viable, nice, you know, you has you have zero bruising. I know, it looks so good. Uh, the redness is very normal yep. right here, right at the along the incision. Everything looks great. Okay. Yeah, this drains if if it tucks on you, that's where you're gonna feel some tugging and pressure. So okay. just hang it with some laxity on okay. the tube so don't, it doesn't don't pull tug it. on you. Okay, you got it. Um, what do you think? Um, I just saw it right now. They took a picture and showed me. I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that's me. Yeah, like, that's so weird. Uh, we can adjust this. Oh my gosh. Seriously, like, looking at this, it, I just, I really legit cannot believe that this is me. <laughs> like, I'm photoshopping myself on someone else's body right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is insane. Like, I just, I cannot believe it. It's so flat. And the belly button belly looks button amazing. Look great once the sutures are removed. Yeah. The incision is very nice. Thin, it's so low straight. And straight. Yeah. Yeah, I'm very happy with it. Thank you so much. 
And I'm so happy that I'm having such a smooth recovery already. Like day one, I feel, I was expected to be having to hold on to people as I walk. I didn't think I'd be able to walk on my own. I know it's part of the this recovery. This area that the surgery was done, the sensation is gonna be a little different, but your nerves are gonna redevelop. Yeah. You probably have normal sensation yep. here and you don't have it here. Correct, yeah. So your nerves and sensation redevelop coming this direction mm -hmm. and maybe six months to a year until it gets uh, they meet each other. Okay. So this area is going to be the last to get the yep. sensation back. But that you'll get sense. it back. Cool. Bit. What, clean it? Yeah. That's good. We need it to be clean. It's so important. Keep the incision moist with putting ointment on it. And this ointment is kind of like a neosporin almost. Neosporin, polysporin, bacitracin, any of these antibacterial ointments are fine. Whatever you have will work. Is that how it does? She's so casual. Mm -hmm. She's a trooper. Mm -hmm. And somewhere around the tube. Where's the happy face? You cut it off. You threw it away. <laughs> She's up here. Oh yeah, that doesn't sound very fun. Mm -mm. That's it, and, and most people tape it, we don't need to tape it because okay. the garment will yeah, hold it together. All right, so we just finished up with my post-op visit with Dr. Carindian and everything's looking good. We switched out my gauze. I'm holding this pillow against me because I'm kind of in pain and due for my pain meds. So yeah, everything was looking really good and I've been instructed to just keep up with putting Neosporin all over my incisions and stay hydrated and make sure I keep up on all these pain meds for a smooth recovery. So yeah. Hey guys, just doing a little check-in. I'm here with my sister Evan and my boyfriend Ethan, if you could see him. We are here getting some sushi because guess who has an appetite? This girl. Um, so yeah. Always just drinking. Because I've been feeling like I need to, so I'm just trying to like keep up on that, stay hydrated, and in order to take my pain meds, I can't take it on an empty stomach, so we're getting some sushi. I'm doing pretty well, and I just got done with my post-op visit with Dr. Crindian, and I got some pictures and sneak peeks. I'm going to be posting a picture of that later. Hi guys, just wanted to check in with you. I am now day two post-op from my tummy tuck. Things are going pretty well. Um, my little nurses, Ethan and Heaven, my boyfriend and my sister, finally just got out of the house for the first time since my recovery. <laughs> They're so nice helping me, but I told them they need to get out of the house and go do something for themselves. So they went to go hit out a workout at the gym and I just took my pain medicine. So I'm like getting really sleepy. I'm gonna take a nap. Don't worry, I have other family here at my house if I need anything. I'm not an abandoned. Um, but yeah, everything's been going really well. I am still like pretty sore like where the drains are inserted, but other than that, I'd say that that part is more painful than the actual incision itself. So yeah, just trying not to like move too much. And when I get up, I'm trying not to sit up too straight. So I'm just taking it really easy, really slow. And yeah, just trying to rest as much as possible so I can get this healing done. And yeah. Just wanted to give you guys a little update.